that. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well, I met David in uh, 1965 when I was an undergraduate in Berkeley. He was in love with a woman who lived in the same building that I lived in, and he married her and subsequently divorced her. <laughs> <laughs> Not all that fast, but in that time when I first met David, for those of you who were alive in 1965, you remember that the Beatles were quite popular. And David decided that since I could play the guitar and was also a writer, that I should set his poems to music and that we should all become as rich and famous as John, Paul, Ringo, and George. Um, well, we didn't quite make it, but we did publish a book called Living in Advance. Um, it was an ironic title. We were living in advance of our advance. As the blues went, uh, I've got 29% of 39% of nothing, <laughs> which was David's way of commenting on his re most recent book contract. <laughs> he also had a way of, of resistance, which I don't think has been uh, mentioned yet. I'm sure it'll come up again. And he resisted interpretation. And when he first uh, was studying, he was getting his, his master's degree when I met him, and he was really taking uh, offense at the way poems were being interpreted and uh, just the, the whole idea of interpretation that it could go in so many different directions and people were insisting this is what this means and that's what this means and so he tried to write poems that were as he said irreducible <laughs> 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 which I think he often succeeded in doing um, so I'm going to go over my time so I should shut up I, I'm going to I'm going to do the, uh, the really stupid thing of singing a song without my guitar, which I couldn't bring from Seattle because I uh, don't have a hard case for it. This was the first song that David and I ever wrote together. It was called The Lighthouse Keeper's Daughter, and she was meant to be an image that could be uh, misinterpreted. <laughs> <laughs> and this is, I guess you could say that the subtext of this is against interpretation. But it also, because of the, mel the lyric melody I put to it, became somewhat sweet, too. So it's, it's, it's uh, like David, sweet and sour. <laughs> you say I'm enigmatic, that just makes me smile. Smiles become automatic after a while. If I never said nothing, you would read in something. If I hadn't a secret, you would invent it. Why, sure, I'm a mystery. You can study my history. Try, try to bring me under your mastery. There has to be something to pass the time. And you know we can't be lighting lamps all of the time. You ask me what it feels like. As if I could tell you, all I know is it feels right looking down at you. Listen, I want you near, dear. It gets so very lonesome up here, but you'd be disinclined under the shine. Why, sure, I'm a mystery. You can study my history. Try, try to bring me under your mastery, there has to be something to pass the time. And you know we can't be lighting lamps all of the time. Because it's a long, long evening. It's a long climb even for a lighthouse keeper's daughter. A lighthouse keeper's daughter. A lighthouse keeper's daughter, such as I am. Thank you.